Hey there and welcome to another tutorial video of the Linux Fever. Here in this video we are gonna learn about the CloneZilla server. So we are gonna learn why do we need CloneZilla server and how do we use it. So welcome to the Linux Fever again. So here uh, first of all let me give a quick description of uh, what exactly is CloneZilla server. So we need CloneZilla server when you need, uh, need to deploy the same image to several client machines imagine if you have more than 10 or 15 of client machines and then what you are gonna do yeah, you will probably uh, write out that image to some usb drives or something like that and you are gonna deploy that image to one by one on all the client machines but here the clonezilla comes in uh, clonezilla saves a lot of effort and time uh, to deploy the image easily uh, so what we do is uh, we go to the network boot and we create a server of that image and we can deploy that image to all the clients at once using the clonezilla server so this is how what we are gonna learn in this uh, particular tutorial video and in the previous video i have already showed you how to uh, pack up an image of the entire system using the clonezilla live edition and now we are gonna use clonezilla server to deploy the image to several clients so here uh, for the demonstration purpose i am only uh, going to deploy that image to only two two client machines and uh, that i am gonna create in this vmware workstation that, that will be basically some uh, virtual machines and this is my uh, host or source uh, source system uh, for which i have already created a backup image uh, in my usb drive and uh, how to do that i have already showed you in the previous video so let me introduce to, to my environment a little bit this is uh, actually a vmware environment and this is the l edition uh, of ubuntu this is a flavor of uh, you can say ubuntu flavor and uh, what we are gonna do is first of all let me tell you that you need to see here something that you need to use while as we are going to deploy the image using the network so here it is uh, recommended that you use the breeze network adapter so that uh, this is basically for ip address uh, resolving and uh, you will not find any trouble while uh, doing this if you use the breeze network and if you use net or host only you might get some trouble as i got earlier so it is i suggest you to use the breeze network adapter both uh, this uh, for uh, breeze for this source uh, system and also uh, the clients you are going to deploy the image so let's uh, first of all quickly uh, create two clients uh, there will be two virtual machines mm, okay now this will be uh, ubuntu uh, let's name it uh, that's fine ubuntu 2 will be the name of our virtual machine and i will need 20 db of 20 gb of hard disk and customize hardware here we will use the beast network adapter okay fine now everything else is fine and just click finish now this was uh, the first uh, client machine has been created and now i will create another client machine okay yeah we went to three that will be the name of the client machine and store this as a single file 20 gb of hard disk that's fine here also we have to select a piece network adapter okay now back to the server uh, this will be our server where we will uh, create a deployable image uh, so just uh, shut down this first of all and now we will use the grbl live cd to put into it so i have provided the download link for where you can find this uh, grbl live cd to download uh, in my description so you can find it there i have already downloaded it and uh, this is this is the grbl live cd where the clonezilla live and clonezilla server both uh, were inbuilt in this city so let's get powered on and it, this will boot into the TRPL live city yeah 
so i am not using the default mode as it is not supported by my cpu you can use the uh, drbl live default settings i am not using the default setting as it is not supported by my cpu so i am going with this vga normal mode takes a little bit of time to boot into the drbl live let's wait a little bit of time So here we are in the DRBL live and we will straightly go to the clonezilla server and double click on it and just press enter so it will look for your networking cards and IP addresses and all and it will resolve them it will also look for the image spotter I have stored my backup image in my USB drive, uh, which is mounted in my uh, in my system. And you can use the backup image from any other source, like you can use the SSH server or NFS server or whatever you are doing. Just press no. Just press no. Okay, here we are. We are uh, as my image is in my USB drive, so I'm gonna select the local device option and press enter. Now it will uh, going to detect my USB drive. Uh, it seems like it's not mounted yet. Let's get mounted. Yeah. So it will be show up over here. Yeah, here it is the uh, almost 16 GB of space as DB is my USB drive where the image uh, resides. And now I'm going to press Ctrl C and now it will find the partitions uh, in the USB drive. And this is the partition that. Okay, press enter. Okay, this is the backup image I have already created. This is the ba uh, backup of the whole. Ubuntu system that I already showed you. The press done. Press enter. Press enter. And it will check for the image. And it might take a little bit of time to verify the all the settings and networking cards and all. So let us wait till then. Now, if it takes a uh, more a little a bit longer, then I will pause the video and continue after it is done. Okay, here we are. Uh, here we have to select all the clients. 
and now I will go with the beginner mode and now I have to select here to restore decoration as I am restoring the ticks image ticks that is yeah I have uh, here in this uh, I have to check I want to check the image before restoring yeah now I will choose the reboot option when clone places and now this is the backup image and this is the source and here we have to use the multicast option as we are uh, going to clone this image to more than one system that's why we are going to use multi multicast option and if you are going to deploy only to one uh, client machine then we are going to use unicast option so select multicast option here so actually there is no point uh, restoring the ticks to the only to one client machine actually you can do that with the clonezilla live if you are going to deploy it to only two or three client machine source and so so it is no point uh, using the clonezilla server the clonezilla server makes sense actually when you are in a work environment and you have to deploy to more than 10 or 20 pieces or more than 40 50 pieces you can deploy up to 100 pieces using the clonezilla server so that's why clonezilla server is used and it actually saves a lot of time and effort so this will gonna take actually two or one or two minutes because it is just maybe copying the image file so let's see Okay, here uh, this is an important step because uh, if you are uh, actually deploying images to your clients in work environment and you are definitely definitely going to need an ad hoc switch uh, where the cables of the uh, cables of the client machines will be connected to the net, uh, this network switch and you need to make sure that the, all the cables are connected properly. This is what it says. Otherwise, it is not going to deploy the image. So make sure that your hardware setup is properly uh, and connected to the switch properly so just press enter after that so that these green lines indicate that uh, we have uh, successfully created the deployable image server and now we are going to go back to, to our client machines uh, here and we are gonna power on this uh, client machines uh, using the network boot option uh, so that it gets connected to the clone zilla server and we can deploy the image so let's power on this client machine Now it automatically gets booted into the network option and here we get the Kondila image that is that is going to wake up with. Okay, we'll just press enter. And remember if you do not get put into the network uh, network mode, you need to go to the firmware uh, setup uh, utility and from there you need to boot it using the uh, network boot option there. So remember that option and this is I think I guess uh, so good so far and we are gonna deploy the image successfully
so here we are it had, it had started uh, restoring the image uh, so it's going to take a little bit of time like uh, five or six minutes to restore the image and then it will install it now we will we'll do same for the second client machine So here we are. Uh, so I have explained you the whole process of the Clonezilla server, how you can deploy images to several client machines. And now I hope you learned a little bit from this tutorial. And if you have any doubt or question regarding this tutorial, you can leave that in my comment section. So thank you for watching.